it's another episode on Real Gist with Moon Bay. On today's gist, I'll be talking on why housemates should not take care of your children. The hiring of domestic servants for house chores like cleaning, preparing the meals, taking care of the children, and lots more has risen as most women started working, making money, and adding to the family income. This is to say that the need to hire housemates increased as a result of circumstances. The practice of hiring housemates has become rampant in Nigeria, in Africa, and the world at large. In the time of old, women hardly worked. They stayed at home with the children. They take care of them, nurture them as they grow, and ensuring that these children does not deviate from the family value and the good morals instilled uh, in them, while the men solely worked and provided for the family. But today, the reverse is the case. Both men and women share in the responsibilities of providing for the family. Now, when the man and the woman is working, definitely someone will have to take care of the children and the house. Therefore, the need for housemaid arises. The rise in the number of cases of uh, child abuse committed by these maids has raised a significant question about the dangers of handing out the care of your children to housemates. Uh, not too long on social media, a video went viral of a maid who maltreated a little girl. The maid beat the girl, flung the girl, and even stepped on her. Recently, another report came up of a housemaid who kidnapped her employer's two sons. The funny thing about this news is that report reaching us states that this woman employed the house help from an online sales portal, OLX. Who does such a thing just because of busy schedules? And I know some of you now will be saying, uh, if you treat your housemaid right, the maid will in turn treat your children right. But I tell you, no matter how well you treat some maids, they will still maltreat your children. And somebody now will be saying, instead of hiring a random house help or maid, let me employ my own relative. Yet, there are some relatives who are worse than housemates. I understand. There are circumstances beyond control. There are some persons who cannot do without housemates. I'm not saying you should quit your job to stay at home with your children. I'm not saying you should shut down your business. All I'm trying to say is, please, leap, uh, look before you leap. So that you don't go and carry a witch that is looking for house. Now, you yourself, you are looking for help. By the time the both of you come together, you have a house help that will destroy all you've labored for. Before you bring in anyone into your home, carry out thorough investigations. If possible, ask for references. Get to know where the person lived before you bring, you bring in the person. Get to know about the family. Ask questions. Any little information you can get about that help before you bring in the person into your home. Please do. Again, that you have a housemaid, that you hired a domestic staff, doesn't mean you should leave the training of your children with your housemaid. It is not the duty of your domestic staff. It is not the duty of your housemaid to train your children. It is not the duty of your help to take care of your children. Some children have suffered sexual uh, abuse. They have suffered physical abuse. They have gotten wrong trainings. 
that they wouldn't have gotten if you were to be there for them. Let's take, for instance, our teens today. Fine, you provide everything they need. You have the money. You enroll them in the best of schools. But see what is happening. Teens are killing each other. Our teenage, teenagers, the body girls and boys, are indulging in sexual activities without any fear, without any, without any remorse. If you were to be there with, uh, for them, they wouldn't have done this. There is this, there is this, uh, this feeling of love and care that the children you are living with your housemate 247 are lacking. If only they can get this affection, they will grow to become a better person. Now, come to uh, romantic relationships. You see, husband and wife constantly fighting. Partners are killing each other. Some are beating their spouse to coma. Some are disfiguring them. Now, ask yourself, how do they feel when these women cry as they beat them? How do they feel when the men cry as their wives maltreat them? There are some women who are terrible. We know that. There are some men who are beasts. Now, how did they grow up to turn, to, to, to turn out this way? These adults are strangers even to their, to, to their own selves. Because when they were growing as a child, most of you as their parents were never there. You only pump in money. You buy gifts. You provide everything. Please, no matter how busy you are, make out time for your children. Have you ever tiptoed to listen to your children's conversation when they are alone. What is in them comes out whenever they are alone, you know, chatting, discussing. If you can do that, listen to them, hear what they are discussing. It will help to tell you that the children are moving out of the track. That way you'll be able to get them right as quickly as possible. No matter how tight your schedules are, create time for them. Don't leave them in the care of the housemates. If you do, you will be able to find out when they are being maltreated and when the housemate is doing something, something you've never expected. Make out time for your children. Do not leave them under the care of the housemates so that they will grow up and become a better adult and will have a sweet and loving society tomorrow. Thank you for watching, but still keep watching as I bring you more interesting episodes next week. Bye.